Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to the allotment series. Yes. This is, well, this is our allotment shed. We are at our allotment. Um, Bit in the background. If you don't know, we're Emma and Sam. We've taken on an allotment. This we is are. our first allotment. We are Samma. <laughs> this is our first allotment. Or Eam. <laughs> Although we have grown stuff in our garden, but this is the first time we've taken an allotment. We've yes. got a thousand square, two thousand square two. feet. Two thousand square. Two thousand square feet, and it is currently the end of August. Mm. It's pretty chilly, get it's getting pretty chilly. Yeah, I've made the mistake of coming in a t shirt. Mm. Nah, the really, goosebumps are already coming out. I could have done with a jumper, but we'll get on with some hard graft and then I won't be cold. Yes. Right. So yeah, if you're interested in following along, seeing how we get on throughout the months, do subscribe. First couple of episodes first episode. Yeah, the first few episodes are already out. I'll link the yeah. playlist down below if you want to start from the start. Um, but yeah, otherwise we'll show you around, show you what's crackalacking. We've got stuff growing. We have. I'm very excited. Not um, everywhere though. <laughs> <laughs> the slugs have have had a nice feast on some of our little seedlings. Some of, not all. But yeah, we'll show you around, see what we're doing. And yeah, get on with it. See you. Bye. So I'll show you our successes first. Well, I'll go with semi-successes. No. <laughs> Radishes. Now we planted radishes because apparently they were super easy to grow in this time of year, which is end of August, early September. Um, yeah, we planted these maybe a month ago. Let me show you how they're getting on. They're doing pretty well. I mean, these, this row has sort of not done as well, maybe because the sluggies are getting to those. But the middle row is doing well, and the other rows are doing well. So that's a success. We're calling the radishes a success so far. We've also got beetroot. You can sort of see, sowed them in lines. There are loads of weeds in between, but we'll just ignore them. Um, so some of them are coming up, although not as many as I would maybe like. But I think that's a success. I think we can call that a bit of a success so far. The other success, although this looks like it's been eaten by sluggies too, oh, is this row of winter salad winter salad leaves i mean those bits over there are doing fantastic but i think the sluggies are the slugs are doing us doing us dirty to be honest we've got these nets up by the way these aren't really for the slugs these are more for like foxes and uh what else have we got foxes and birds and stuff um although they do seem to be protecting a little bit from the slugs but yeah these are more for the birds what else have we got success successful these are charred rainbow charred although again there's not very much coming up from those um that's a rainbow charred that's a rainbow charred i think they're weeds <laughs> so yeah we're not having the best time right now but i do think oh they're rainbow charred they're doing okay i do think it's because of the weather it's been very wet and miserable um, and so the slugs are just having the time of their lives to be honest but yeah hopefully we'll get a couple see that one's been nibbled we'll see what we get i suppose so when i was here uh, a couple of days ago in the last vlog i re-sewed some of our stuff that had been nibbled by slugs and this is one of those beds so here i planted rocket but that's not coming up yet um, I'm not surprised really. I only planted it a couple of days ago. And we've got a little bit of green lettuce trying to come up, but again, I think the slugs have got to most of those. And I've planted some red lettuce behind here, but again, that's not coming up yet. But I'm not, not surprised that's not coming up yet. Um, it's a bit early, a bit early for that. But yeah, we'll see how they get on. I tried to just like that, car go past. Tried a different method with some different compost, so. We'll see how we get get on, but yeah, unfortunately it's just been the time of year for slugs. I think a lot of people have had problems on the little um, like gardening forums and stuff I'm on. People have had big problems with slugs because of the weather. What else have we got going on? We've got, in this bed, we've got spinach. Perpetual spinach, which is doing okay. There's some there. Some there, some there. Hopefully we'll get something from that. Spring onions. 
spring onions aren't coming up yet. Yeah, I did plant some spring onions in the middle of this bed, but I can't see any of those little shoots yet. We have got some purple kale. Don't know if you can see that. Can you see? Can you see me? That's purple kale. And there's some here as well. That seems to be doing okay. The slugs don't seem to like the kale right now, so let's hope that con continues. And then we've got a full bed of carrots. Again, I had to re sow some because they just weren't germinating. Um, so I re sowed some little baby circle carrots. Um, and I called them silly little baby carrots on the uh, label. So, but some on this side are germinating. This side I only planted the other day, so. And then the last bed is strawberries, which we found, we found a, this big strawberry plant. Where are we? This one. We found um, at the back of the plot. I'll show you the back of the plot in a second little update where we are on that but yeah we found this strawberry plant on the back of the plot and we planted it and it's settled in really well settled in great and then these are all runners that were coming off that plant as well oh i forgot to show you i planted pak choy here but the slugs ate it all <laughs> someone's just at their plot just ignore me i'll show you sam sam's doing a dig dig With all this bloody land. Yeah, this is the yeah, long grass. Yeah, this is the long grass that we're struggling with. Um, I thought we were the only ones on the block, but there is actually someone else here. They literally just walked up. Um, so yeah, this is what we've got to deal with. Just for reference, by the way, all of this, what you see was, you can't see what you're doing. It's alright, I trust myself. was like this bit. So yeah. all of that, like this. Yes. So we've come, we've come so far. So That's a rhubarb. Bushes are coming through, but I can't tell if nettles are growing on it or not. <laughs> yeah. We've got nettles coming out of the raspberry bush. That's good. Um, well, yeah. At least it's a repellent to blow the <laughs> it's in it. Yeah. All under here, there's raspberries, nettles, weeds, grass. Whatever you want. Whatever you it. want, we've got it. I mean, it's not as bad as some plots I've seen that are just complete brambles. And to be fair, there are some plots like that around here. Yeah, and some people just leave them. That's what um, I don't get. But yeah, we, we're trying at the moment to clear this as best we can before winter, before Look. the weather turns, basically. Look at that. Yeah, these are the I roots, even got it all out. roots we're digging up. <laughs> but yeah, as we go, we're covering it up with tarp to suppress some of the weeds. So that's why we've got tarp all here. This, by the way, is a row of potatoes that was already planted by someone um, before we took on the plot, so we've just kept them. <laughs> yeah, we'll carry on clearing up. See what we can. What we can. Um, yeah, get digging. If we don't get as much as we can up, we'll probably cover it and see what happens. Yeah, if we don't get it done before the bad weather comes, we'll just put a tarp over it and see what we can do. But ideally, I'd like to get beds set up like we have over there. Um, but yeah, we'll just take it day by day see how much we can do in a day we're only going to be here about an hour or so so yeah because the lights going we come after work <laughs> so the lights going that's us so far that's the compost heap oh my god oh god is it excited about a weed all right come on oh is it oh worm loads of worms on <laughs> loads of worms on this plot which i think is good that was yeah. part of that these are the weeds. Have been that long. Wow. Anyway, I ought to help. <laughs> Mom, what do you want to show and tell? Well, if anybody wants to know his problem with brambles and raspberries, that's two brambles. Tiny little baby ones. Yeah, nothing on them. And that's how bad the roots are for tiny little baby brambles. Obviously, these were a little bit more established before, but that. It's a nightmare. Yeah, and you have to keep digging them up. Right, Crocs are going into four-wheel drive. <laughs> you know I'm going to be doing work when that happens. These Crocs were shiny and new, by the way. Were? 
were being the key word there. This is what happens when you're a gardener. A gardener? Uh, yeah, I've got a garden. This is an allotment garden. Can, can I call myself a gardener? What a cheeky monkey. This is not animal cruelty, these are eating our crops and no one likes them and I was a vegetarian for 13 years so I've got some karma in the bank. Are you really going to stand? What Don't if, hit the camera with what it. What if it goes back at you? <laughs> got a bigger tour. Oh miss, rubbish. That was a bad tour. It wasn't a bad throw. Well, I'll find another one. Yeah, one. Look, you've got to have some fun. You've got to have some fun while you're here. You know, if that's baseball batting slugs about, what are you going to do about it? Found it. <laughs> I feel like maybe we should let it live in peace. Yeah. Can I do it? Right into my lettuces. He went over it. Perfect. Let's observe our victim. So the sun has gone down. Um, it's quite late, it's like probably nearly eight o'clock. Um, and I thought I'd just show you how much we've done. We're leaving now. <laughs> we've put another tarp down, again, just to try and stop some weeds. It's a bit of a never ending project, to be honest. Um, and yeah, we've got. I'd say we've done what? Three quarters of the plot. And there's this this back bit to go. But to be fair, if you'll have watched one of the other vlogs, you'll have heard our plan. But we're going to have a polytunnel in the middle. So we're going to keep that as the compost heap. Polytunnel in the middle. We've got raspberry and blackberry bushes growing over there. So we'll turn that into a bit of a fruit bush area. And then we're going to do this bit the same as beds as over there but yeah it's just a bit of a never-ending task to be honest clearing I'm hoping we can get some help maybe this weekend or next week to finish clearing it because that'll make me feel better um, but yeah that's us so far that's all we've got to all we've got to do today just tidying up um, I watered all our seedlings well I didn't water the strawberries and some kicked off because I didn't water the strawberries even though I think I'll be fine. <laughs> and yeah, that's it really. I'm going to get some more of these nets tomorrow. I get paid tomorrow in the real world time, not vlog time. So I'm going to get some. <laughs> hmm? Yeah, more net things because I do think they help a little bit. And when it's butterfly season, which it kind of is at the minute, or when our brassicas grow a little bit more yeah they'll be useful so that's all i'm doing right now we're going home don't Probably know when we'll be down there. yeah i don't know when we'll be back um but yeah that's it that's all i'm gonna say hello allotmenting viewers <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> I'm back at the allotment. It's just me. I'm riding solo. I'm riding solo. I'm riding solo. Is that Jason Derulo? Maybe. I have a little Starbucks. Big Starbucks. I meant to get a medium, but they gave me a large. Whole story. Um, 
but yes so i've got my little starbies it's a beautiful day it's like 25 degrees it says on my car gorgeous and yeah sam's out with his mates it's saturday by the way sam's out with his mates it's like two o'clock and i thought i'd just rock up for a little bit i'm not going to do too much today i really can't be bothered to spend a hot day doing like manual labor but i am gonna have a look at our little seedlings see how things are growing hopefully stuff's growing now that i've replanted also i've planted some contingency plants i've been watching a lot of them as allotment diaries and she likes to have contingent contingency plants in case the plants in the plot die and that's what i'm doing because i don't trust the slugs me and the slugs have got beef because the slugs have eaten all my stuff at home i'm trying to grow cauliflowers eating them all uh trying to get chard eating them all trying to grow anything eating them all um in my home vegetable bed also uh they've eaten my bean plants my peppers so i'm on a mission against the slugs and they've eaten bloody everything here i popped down not yesterday day before um just quickly uh or was it yesterday oh i can't remember day before maybe um yeah and everything's been eaten by slugs so i've planted some contingent contingency plants in my little greenhouse thing at home in little modules so i'm hoping i know it's really late it's too late to plant things really but i'm just i'm panicking and i'm hoping that if i put them in the greenhouse they'll germinate quicker than they would normally and it'll all be okay but yeah planted some little contingency plants i planted like all the kales spinach lettuce stuff like that because they're just getting eaten by slugs um and I've Amazon Primed, so come in today, so I'll be able to bring them if I come tomorrow. They didn't arrive in time for me to have them now. Um, I have bought some peppermint oil, because I've heard if you dilute that and spray it on your plants, slugs don't like it. I mean, if like Emma said on Emma's Allotment Diaries, if someone said, you know, do a little dance, turn around five times, touch the ground, it'll get rid of your slugs, so do it. Um, sorry, no car's just pulling on, I don't want them to see me vlogging. So yeah, I'm, I'm doing everything. I'm going to bring my eggshells tomorrow. I've also brought, bought, um, what else did I buy? Copper tape. I know, all these things. I'm really trying to get rid of the slugs. Anyway, I'm going to go because I think those people think I'm cray cray for talking to myself. And my coffee's melting as we speak and I'd like to drink it while it's cold. So yeah, let's go to the plot. See what's survived the slugs, I suppose. That's all we can hope for these days. At least the slugs are happy. I'm contributing to the natural ecosystem, you know? Are slugs useful for anything? Are slugs actually useful for anything? I don't think so. Anyway, that's all I've got to say. Let's all, let's all move on. Let's all pray, pray that some things have survived the slugs. It's happening. It's happening. Sunglasses are on. Wow. So yeah, let's have a look at the plot. You'll notice this little guy. He's a new purchase, Home Bargains, one ninety nine. thank you very much. He's actually very cute. Just uh, me and my mate. Should <laughs> I get a thumbnail? Anyway, <laughs> by the by, I need to stop spending money on random shit like scarecrows and actually like do stuff on the plot. Speaking of spending random shit, money on random shit, we got, went to Morrison's today got a black currant bush these were 2.29 so we just thought what the hell black currant bush and an autumn raspberry variety um although it says autumn raspberry but it fruits between july and august is that right i don't know but it's an orange raspberry uh, all gold i don't know what that means um yeah i'll probably wait for sam to come and help me plant those if he comes tomorrow and also my extra nets that I ordered off Amazon have arrived. So I'm going to put them over uh, the remaining exposed vegetables. But yeah, everything looks green. Oh, it's so nice in the sun. I don't know what's alive, but I can see that the radishes are still alive. The beetroot's coming up. I can see our kale's still survived. Winter lettuce looks like there's some left. So yeah, let's have a look. Kale, alive, fantastic. What were you, spinach? 
spinach I think have been eaten but I prefer kale to spinach anyway so maybe they can eat the, the spinach if they leave the kale alone I don't know I don't know what's the option they can have one they can't have both you know some spinach is alive and I've planted contingency spinach radishes Still wonderful. What a wonderful, easy crop radishes are. I don't know whether slugs just don't like them. Are they just not interested in them? I don't know. Maybe they send off a smell. But this seems to be doing great. And look at all that beetroot. Wonderful. Ignore the weeds. We just ignore the weeds. We're going to ignore the weeds forever. But yeah, some beetroot's not been eaten. Beautiful. Our winter lettuces seem to have survived ish. You know, I can't see any slugs on them or slug nibbles. Oh, a little bit there, I suppose, but they seem to be pushing, pushing forth, striving for excellence. I can't remember what I planted there. Lettuce, that's not come up yet. Oh, but my rocket. Oh my god, it's so warm. Oh, my rocket. Can you see that? Little rocket seedlings. And they're coming up. Oh, fantastic. Are my other lettuce is coming up yet? No. That lettuce still hasn't been eaten. What a wonderful, wonderful day to be at the allotment. I think the hot weather maybe has killed some of the slugs. We can only hope. I think my pak choy and whatever that was, rainbow chard, is gone. But I've planted contingencies. So we can all, all fingers crossed that they come up. I think all I really need to do, yeah, all my chard's gone. All my pak choy's gone. I think I did replant some, but it's not come up yet. So, oh no, oh, one chard survives. One chard has survived <laughs> against all odds. Let's show you off, little chard. He survived, look. Oh, and his friend. Oh, okay, maybe it's not all over. Maybe it's not all over. Maybe we'll get one rainbow chard. That'll do. That'll feed two of us. One rainbow chard. God, it is so warm. It is so warm. Oh, I need a hat. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sizzle. I'm going to sizzle in the sun. My poor little English, English pale skin. Let's go hide in the shed. I can't handle the, uh, the warmth. I also think I need to chop all the heads off the potatoes because I think they have got blight. Just as a little side note. I care less about the potatoes because I didn't plant them. The person before planted them. If you don't know, we've got that. There is a whole row of potatoes. Two rows of potatoes, actually. Um, and yeah, we didn't plant them. The person that had the plot before planted them and left them. So, <laughs> I don't really care if they turn up or not. We've eaten some for chips. That's a success in my eyes. Free potatoes. But yeah, I do think they've got blight. Blight is basically where it's a... It's, an it's a fungal thing that's carried in like wet air, so like wet moisture, so it happens a lot if you have a damp summer like we have been, and tomatoes can get it as well. Um, it's less, it's really deadly on tomatoes. If your tomato plant gets blight, you've got to rip up the whole thing and burn it and eat, you get nothing from it, and you can't even use that soil again. But potatoes are a bit hardier, so if your potatoes get blight, you normally can just chop the tops off the potato plants and leave the potatoes in the ground until you're ready to use them so there you go I, I mean I think that's true don't quote me you know but they need chopping off but I don't know if I can be asked to do that today maybe that's a job for me and Sam to do together but yeah I'm glad some things have survived if we grow something if we grow one kale one chard one radish I'm happy I'm a happy bunny but everything desperately needs watering it's not a great time for me to water, it's the middle of the day. You're not really meant to water while it's scorching, but I've got no other option. So, the carrots aren't coming up, I think the carrot's dead. But, what can you do? We'll have like two carrots. That's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll push forth for next spring, okay? And also, oh, I don't know if I can be bothered to do that. I'm not really doing anything today, am I? I need to prepare these beds for spring bulbs. I bought daffodils and tulips. And I'm going to plant these in these beds here, in the middle. Because I think that will be nice for the bees and, you know, other animals. Other flying 
pollinating animals um, and I'm hoping that I can get the soil turned and get those in. I did buy some compost from Morrison's actually, it was on offer, £3 a bag, not bad. Um, so hopefully I can layer compost and stuff. I am, oh, I'm going to stop rambling in a minute, but I am wanting to do a no dig bed just to test it, just to trial it. But I don't know whether I can do that this year because I've not got enough cardboard and we've already dug all the other beds. So I can't no dig an already dug bed, do you know what I mean? So maybe I'll have to do that at the end of the year. I don't know. Anyway, that's was from my head. Now it's in yours. So I've got it out. So yeah, I'm just going to go and put the, what's my plan? I'm going to put the covers on the beds that don't already have covers on, the little neck covers. These mostly protect against birds, by the way, because um, we got warned that the birds will peck everything to death. So that's why we've got covers on. Um, so I'm going to do that, give everything a quick little water. And then if I can be bothered, if I can be bothered, I might start digging up a bed for the tulips and the daffodils. But that is a big if, big if there. So yeah, I'll put these covers on, shut up and actually get gardening. That'd be good, wouldn't it, if I actually did some gardening at the allotment garden. Wow. shot of me putting them up, so nice time lapse, put some music over it now, and now I just spent 10 minutes wrestling with the net, perfect, brilliant, brilliant. So that's all the beds covered. I think I've made a bit of a mistake, you can see they're like not the same types of nets, so I bought these off Amazon, I originally bought these off Amazon and it said they were going to take like three days to arrive, I thought that's fine, take you three days. And they ended up taking like a week. So then I got these, which I thought were the same, this type and this type, um, because they were Amazon Prime next day delivery. But they're not the same and I don't think they're as good. Like the metal doesn't, as, doesn't stretch as far. They're a bit smaller. So where I've got three things in a row, it's quite hard to stretch it to cover them. But it's better than nothing, I suppose. And the mesh, the net is like more soft. The other net is quite firm. I don't know whether it makes a blind bit of difference. That was impatience. That was me being impatient and not waiting the three days for the original ones. Wow. Anyway, um, yeah, they're all covered. This, I'll repeat, this is not a slug defence. This is defence from birds and foxes and cats and stuff. This is not a slug defence. Slugs do not give a shit about these nets because all my pack troy was under that net and all the slugs got it. So. But it might help, I don't know. I'm gonna come back tomorrow with all my slug defences. Um, but yeah, as I say, this is just to protect against the uh, birds and the foxes and the like. Looks a bit professional though, doesn't it? Like I have bought these and you can do allotment in for free with whatever you find. Like all this wood was for free on Facebook and you could just put like chicken, chicken wire or mesh or something over the top of the beds, but I thought, if I invest then I can use them again and I can use them next year and then when we start having brassicas and cabin and stuff that are susceptible to cabbage butterfly that'll be good to protect the baby plants from the butterflies. Anyway, that's my theory. I thought I'll just invest now and then I've got them and I can reuse them and they were £13 for a set of two on Amazon. Could have probably found them cheaper if I went somewhere else but Amazon's Amazon in it. Jeffrey Bezos was going to deliver them to me so... Yes, that's why I've got them. You don't need them, but I just want to protect a little bit. And then I've got them and then I can reuse them. Anyway, I'm red hot now. It is so warm. Yeah, that's why I'm in the shade in the shed, because it is so warm. It's the first, is it the 2nd of September today? Why is it so warm? I don't know. Maybe it's a late summer we're having. But what I'm going to do now, what am I going to do now? That was sort of my only job. I need to water. I don't want to do that until before I leave. Oh, I know what I'll do. On the back, there is a load of nettles. 
hanging around our raspberry plant. So I'm going to pull them up and put them in a bucket because you can make fertiliser with nettles if you did not know. So I've been collecting nettles and putting them in a bucket. I should put water in the bucket, shouldn't I? Maybe we'll start a new bucket. I'll start a new nettle bucket. <laughs> fun, fun, exciting allotment jobs. You can see, so you can see here, this little raspberry is getting strangled by all these nettles. So I'm just going to pull them up best I can. There must be a nettle plant under here somewhere. So yeah, I'll just weed this little bit and give these a bit of room to breathe. I've got my bucket to put the nettles in. Yeah, let's get on. What Sam had done, bless him, is unknowingly buried a bramble, which he believed to be a raspberry. He buried that, planted it, we've been watering it, but alas, it was a nettle that we've been carefully cultivating. <laughs> so I've pulled it all up from the roots and I think I've got it, but we might have planted other nettles and been looking after them, so you never know. You never know what you're going to find. There's also a real problem with the grass. Well, is it grass? Uh, let me show you. So, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Let me put a, let me put a glove on. Is that the right glove? No. Hang on. Bear with. Bear with. There we go. So you might think, oh, dirt. Lovely workable dirt. No. You'd be wrong. It is long grass that's been buried. So it's like half composted itself. But it makes it really 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 hard to dig through see oh wormy go on go over there live your life oh more worms okay so like it's not dirt it's like buried grass and i kind of don't know what to do about it because grass composts so we could technically leave it and it'd compost away but then i don't think it's workable ground is it we can't dig anything and put anything in there so i'm unsure on that one i've sort of pulled some out left some not sure I'm gonna have to cross that bridge when we get there but yeah i sort of don't know what to do with this grassy grassy earth stuff i don't know so i'm just about to wrap up and call it a day i've been weeding i've not filmed any of it because it's really boring and I don't think anyone needs like hours and hours worth footage of weeding. So I've not filmed it. But uh, I've done quite a big, big area. There's some crazy, crazy bramble weeds. Bramble weeds? Bramble roots. They are weeds, I suppose, if you don't want them there. Which have been a nightmare to dig up. I've had to like fully get the spade out and dig. Which in 25 degree heat, not the most fun adventure. But I will give a little overview of the plot and how it's looking. I mean, I don't know if you'll be able to see any difference at all, but I'll still show you, because you never know. Obviously, this is all the stuff we've already done. This is our rhubarb. And I've sort of been doing a little bit up there, a little bit around here. Slow going, it's really hard work. Um, you'll see, I'll show you. Look, these are some of the roots that I'm assuming are bramble roots. No idea. Um, but yeah, really hard work to get those up. That's it, that's me done today. I'm not sure if I'll be back tomorrow, hopefully, with Sam in tow. So I will see you next time we're here. So we're back at the plot. I'm not solo today, Sam's around somewhere. There, is that him? Maybe. So yes, we're back at the plot. Uh, I won't give you an update because I did that yesterday. Um, I think my mum and stepdad have come in to help us cut the grass around the plot which will be nice because they've got a mower that works and we do not um, and help us out a little bit i think my first job is going to be to cut the tops off all the potatoes because i think they're going a bit funny and i don't trust the look of them so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to trim the green tops off the potatoes the potatoes there um, and leave the potatoes in the ground until we need them that's what i'm going to do because you can do that as long as the weather's not totally boggy and horrible um, which is not going to be for the next week or so so that's going to be my first job of the day I don't know what Sam's plans are possibly plant these raspberry and blackberry we got yesterday um, yeah we'll just have a general tidy up I also 
want to plant the summer bulbs but I don't know how much time, spring bulbs, but I don't know how much time we've got so I'll start with the potatoes and see how we get on. So we've successfully been here and not filmed anything. That's because your mum and Paul have been here. Yeah, my mum and stepdad came and helped trim the grass, I'll show you that in a minute. And then I just chopped, and we also went for a wander around the plots to have a nosy what everyone else was up to. And then I chopped all the things, all the foliage off the potatoes, because I'm not sure what's going on with that, and I didn't want to... Risk. I just thought, yeah, just thought, I can chop it now. Um, gave my mum about how many kilograms of potatoes, do you think? I don't know. Like five, five kilograms of potatoes. Just a get lot, rid of. Just give a lot of potatoes. Um, and yeah, we're going to go home now because it's too warm. It's dead hot, we're both sweaty, we're both tired, we both need a drink. So... And this compost pile grows ever more. Yeah, our compost pile just increases. We also planted those bushes, fruit bushes, mm -hmm. from yesterday. On the plus side, thank you Paul for letting me have your incinerator. Oh, have we got that incinerator now? Yeah, just so. Oh. Big borrow and steal, you know? I don't, I don't steal, you know this. I you're steal. The, you're the stealer. From family and friends. That's not really stealing, is it? Anyway, well, I don't know. If you stole ten thousand pounds from me, I'm sure that's quite going on. Anyway, it's too hot, so we've just watered everything, and now we're going to go out. We need to water ourselves now. Yeah, we need to get a drink. So, adios for now. See you till next time. Good morning. As you can see by the blinding light, I am trying to hide in the shed. <laughs> but it is gorgeous, gorgeous weather. It is the first week of September. And in the UK we're having like a heat wave for whatever reason, not sure why. But yesterday it was 30 degrees on the 2nd or 3rd of September, 4th of, Se 4th of September yesterday. And it was 30 degrees and it's predicted to be 27 the rest of the week. So it is like 8 o'clock in the morning um, and I'm at the plot. I never normally come in the mornings, I'm not a morning human, not a morning person. But I needed to come and give everything a water because it didn't come yesterday. Thankfully, everything's still alive. It's not shriveled up. Um, well, I say everything's alive. The things I've planted the other week don't seem to be germinating. Um, which it is weird weather. I'll give it that. So hopefully the things I've planted in my little greenhouse at home will come up. And then I can plant those in as like little plug plants um, rather than direct seeds into the ground. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I'm not faffing about doing any hard work today, but got this light. But what I've got my coffee as well because I didn't ha even have time to have coffee at home and I'm a coffee person. I need I run on coffee. But what I am going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of slug defense because even though it's really warm and the slugs are not out in the day because of the heat, it is still getting damp at night. So I'm going to put up a little bit of slug defense. Now, I understand that slugs are very clever and that they will bypass pretty much anything that I put down but it doesn't hurt to have a go, does it? So, what I've got is I've got some copper tape, I've got some eggshells that I've been collecting at home and I made a little concoction of peppermint oil and water in a little spray bottle. Um, I did actually spray the plants the other day when I was here with that but I didn't vlog it or anything. I don't know if it's helped, the slugs don't seem to have eaten my kale or my lettuce so... I don't know but yeah we're just going to prevent prevention is the best cure you know so i'm going to run some of the copper tape around the beds i don't know how much i bought i think 20 meters or something so i don't know how far it'll get me um and yeah put some of the eggshells around the plants i'm really really scared of going like the kale and my one charred plant that's come up <laughs> so that's what i'm going to do now i don't know if I'll, I'll be able to show you any of it because honestly the sun is so bright this morning it is insane but I will show you. So these are the eggshells I've been collecting, crushed up. I mean, there's only me and Sam and I only really eat eggs. So it's just one person's <laughs> egg consumption. And then I just ordered this copper tape from, oh, you get all the angles while I open it. Hang on, hang on. Oh, tape, why? Oh my god. This is the copper tape. I got the wide stuff because on the Googles that's what it said. Um, and apparently slug juice is meant to give the slugs an electric shock when they crawl over it. I don't know how true that is. But yeah, I'm gonna give it a good go. What you know, what's the harm? 
can't do any worse can it so yeah that's what i'm gonna do i also have my spring bulbs to plant but i'm not gonna plant them this week which is kind of annoying because that's what i wanted to do but i'm not gonna plant them this week because the heat i'm gonna wait till it cools down a little bit because bulbs aren't meant to be in the heat when you plant them so that's why you plant them in like september october time but we we're having a weird september so i'm not going to plant the spring bulbs yet but i am going to slug defend as best i can <laughs> so this is what i've done i only had enough tape to do like two sides of each bed um and obviously i have no idea if this will work or not it doesn't seem right but that's what the internet said to do copper tape um and now i'm gonna do the eggshell thing particularly around my little kales because i have got some kale plants growing at home but it's a different variety and i kind of have run out of seeds for this variety and this is the one i really want this is purple kale and so i kind of want this one not just the normal curly kale but obviously i've run out of seeds so i can't replant this one so these are our only hope are you one you were one you've got another little leaf i'll protect you you know what you know what you've earned it mate you go for it there's enough eggshells to go round pal yeah basically i think the theory oh weed i think the theory with the eggshells is that the slugs like smooth surfaces or something i mean it's an old wives tale isn't it but again the internet said put eggshells around it put copper tape peppermint oil so we're doing all of the above is what we're doing this is what we're doing be protected friends be oh you're not being protected because i'm squishing you that's good isn't it be protected you can do it i believe in you you can fight off the slugs good little kale okay my rocket seems to be the only stuff that's coming up that i planted the other day um all right i like rocket we'll go with that i'm just gonna eggshell protect my two tiny little lettuces that have survived um i think i'll leave the rocket to fend for itself it's quite a mustardy rocket anyway isn't it so hopefully the slugs don't like it i don't know i don't know what the theories are anymore i don't know the last one I'm going to egg protect is my little rainbow chard. You can see they've uh, had the tops off those. These have survived. The, the tops off that one. That one's okay, it's been nibbled, but this one's surviving. So let's, let's protect what we've got. I think the beds are as protected as I can possibly make them. Knowing me, I'm probably just going to encourage the slugs now. They're probably going to see it as a challenge and uh, try harder. But, you know, you can only do what you can do. I've run out of eggs. I need to start eating more omelettes, baking more cakes, collect more eggs. <laughs> um, yeah, so the last job of the day before I go home to start my actual job, my actual work job, I'm going to dig up some more potatoes because we've run out at home and you know we've got plenty here i'm not going to buy any at the supermarket i can tell you that so yes i'm going to dig up some potatoes so we can have them for dinners this week and that is my last job i love digging up potatoes that is my favorite job that is my favorite gardening pastime is finding potatoes wow cool anyway that's what i'm going to do i'm going to leave it here um yeah <laughs> leave it here for today so I was just pulling up the potatoes and then I heard a buzzing and I thought it might be a cricket but it's a bee and I think it's dehydrated. I need, I've not got any, I've only got coffee which I don't think is quite right so I'm going to bring it to the little water point and see if it can sup up some of these little water droplets. Some water. no sugar to give you i know you meant to give them like sugar water but i've not got any oh no i need to rescue the bee Hello. um right so 
So the only like container I could find was a fruit shoot bottle. So I'm just going to put some water in there. Want some? Want some water? Friend? Want some water? You can do it. You can do it little friend, I believe. Go on. Oh my goodness. Get the water. You can do it. Do the water. I want to help you but I don't want you to sting me. And then there's some flowers here, look. You can have those, do some pollen in those. I've got to go to work, little bee. I can't hang around all day. We saved the bee, the bee flew away. Bee is fine, bee is safe, bee scared me, but bee is alive. Gotta save the bees, guys, gotta save the bees. So, I'm back at the plot today, again. I think I was only here yesterday morning. Yeah, I was only here yesterday morning. Um, some of the slug defences seem to have encouraged the slugs to the plants, so that's fun, love that, love that for me. One of my precious kales, purple kales, has been nibbled. But there are a couple others standing strong. Oh, I've been at work today, by the way, which is why I look a little bit more put together <laughs> than I normally am at the plot. I've come after work. Um, yeah, but what is really exciting is that uh, some stuff survived, survived the slugs. Some Everything survived the heat that was already growing, which is fantastic because it's been another scorcher of a day. It's been like 27 degrees again today. So it was like 30 degrees yesterday, 27 degrees again today. So it's been really, really, really hot. Um, so I've just given everything a really good water. It's about, what time is it? It's half seven. So the sun's gone down. It's a good time to water because then it'll retain the water overnight. Um, but what's really exciting is that those silly little carrots, those little ball shaped carrot things I got and chucked in, have started to sprout. So, the sun's done something good. Um, yeah, I feel okay. I think I wasn't going to come tonight um, because obviously, as I said, I've been in the office. I don't normally go into the office, by the way. I normally work from home. So, I've been into the office. <laughs> I'm going to talk really quietly now because there's another plot holder getting water and the water point's right next to the shed. I can hear them talking. Anyway, as I said. Yeah, so because I've been at work today, I only wanted to pop down. Um, everything's watered. Things have survived, things are growing, hands are filthy. Classic day. So, I'm going to call it now, because I'm embarrassed, because of the people. And go home. I wait Sam. Sam's been out this evening, so we're going to have pizza for tea. And, yeah, I will return in a new video, where I think we're going to plant the spring bulbs. As long as this heat wave dies down a bit, yeah, we'll plant the spring bulbs, so... I will see you then. Remember to like the video if you like it, comment, give us any hints, tips, tricks, and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks, see you soon, bye.